Hello, my city YouTubers. I hope you're all fine and doing absolutely. Oh, look at me. I'm like Bono. In the name of love, what more in the name of love? <laughs> I'm not normal lately. I think it's the medicine it's still working. I was really, really sick last week. I had a terrible cold. I'm still feeling a little bit. Well, uh, life goes on. Even if you have a cold, sometimes you have to go out in drag. Well, talking about drag, I want to talk about the young people or even older people like me. I started doing drag when I was 40, remember? When you start doing drag, first of all, you must kind of build your character, know how the character will be. Uh, for instance, when I created Sugar Love, I was thinking about the 50s, the 60s, you know, kind of vintage look. But that's something really, really important. You must find out, I mean, uh, really create, mold your character. I don't know if you're choosing something beachy or, you know, in between boy and girl or classic, you know, I prefer going classic. So, once you find your character, you must start finding the costumes and the clothes and the dresses and all that jazz. Um, I must tell you, a good advice is secondhand shops. Something like, you know, charity shops and uh, Red Cross and Oxfam, this kind of thing. Last week I went to a shop, secondhand shop, and I found really gorgeous globes. I was looking for, you know, those kind of 50s, 60s globes. And I found this and I paid something like two euros for a pair. And uh, it's really, really beautiful, chic and not expensive. Look at this. Look at this. The two of them. This is really classic, isn't it? beautiful two euros and that's nothing so I tell you secondhand shops are the best for this kind of thing look at this I found a I found a white one look at this kind of you know marriage I don't know if it can go if it can fit a marriage ceremony beautiful isn't it I love it and I was really looking for something like this, you know? Look. And I also found those gorgeous earrings, you know, 60s, original 60s. Mm, very nice. I think I paid like also two euros. This one also. 60s original now look at this this one is really gorgeous kind of silver look at this very classic is it very classic and I was very very happy with this Very nice. So that's my advice. Secondhand shops, you can really find gorgeous stuff. Sometimes, if you are lucky enough, you can find something really, really cool. A friend of mine once went to a secondhand shop here in Brussels and he found a very original address from the 50s, a Dior haute couture. He paid something like 150 euros. This was really something precious. And another thing also, if you find a good secondhand shop, try to go there almost every day because things come and go very, very fast. So if you're lucky enough to be there at the right time, you can get something really, really gorgeous. And of course, after there is uh, eBay, internet you can find a lot of stuff but secondhand shops for me is the best way of saving money if you want to start your drag 
I don't know about your country, where you live, the city you live. So if you have some comments, some advice, some tips, leave me a comment here. You know, like this, you can help other people watching this video, please. So that's it. From now on, I will try to do videos like this, you know, very simple, no editing, or if I do some editing, something really, really simple. Because I think it's nice to give you some advice like that. So if you want, and also if you have any doubts, if you have questions, drop me a line here also. Let's start a conversation and uh, we can do other videos based on your comment. So that's it for today, my darlings. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please, if you did, don't forget to thumb it up, to share the video and subscribe for more nice videos because I'm preparing a lot of good stuff. Now you play safe, stay safe and I see you very, very soon. Bye bye.